already at a war. <laughs> Someone is having spiritual warfare and they don't know it. Do you know recently I found that there is a spirit called the spirit of this sleep? Eh? It's in the Bible. I, I found it two days ago. I shouted. He said, That thing that comes on me when I want to pray. But once I say I'm tired of this prayer and said, Open a book, the thing lives. It's a spirit. It's part of the arsenal of hell that works against the spirit of prayer, grace, and supplication. It aligns with the spirit of infirmity. The way you're looking at me, let me show you, it's in your Bible, except your own. You, re, you deliberately removed it. You find yourself in a meeting where the world is going on, and suddenly you slip off. Ah! They just they just did warfare on you. And they won. Isaiah 29 10. Let them see it. What this spirit does is to disarm your tool so that the enemy can assault. And the Lord has poured upon you the spirit of this sleep and has closed your eyes. And the prophet and rulers and the seers are covered. So, men who should be seen are sleeping. And what does that spirit do? Isaiah chapter 56 verses 9. All the beasts of the field come and devour. Yea, all the beasts of the forest. Verses 10. Verses 10. His watchmen are blind and ignorant. They are dumb dogs. They are not barking. Sleeping, lying down, loving slumber. So why will his watchmen be sleeping like this? Something came on them. It's called the spirit of this sleep. It's Satan's asana. When your heart starts getting unnecessarily heavy, the spirit of heaviness. So because once the heart gets heavy, you can't, you can't travel in the spirit. You can't pray. You can't, you can't pray. You can't pray. They, they are organized systems against the spirit of grace and supplication. That's why he said, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands. So shall thy poverty come. So poverty is a spirit, but there is a one that is the protocol officer that introduces him. It's called the spirit of sleep and slumber. Anytime sleep, stop, stop making you make spiritual advancement. Better war against it. Declare war. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. The first time I wanted to do a walk on the Holy Ghost, I realized throughout that week, if I pick a book, I sleep. The day I say, okay, I will not read, let me do something else, my eyes will be kuru kuru te tree. For three days, I did not descend in action when they dawned on me, something just came against you. There's a dimension of the spirit you want to shift. He wants to stop you. You declare war. Because they are introducers for the spirit of destruction. Poverty in the spirit follows the spirit of slumber. You see yourself, you're not making progress. I can't explain why. It's a spirit. Something ushered it in. It starts with slumber. So poverty coming as an armed man. You are, you are hearing but you are not growing. You are making a fault but you are not. There is a spirit. It is a war. War has been declared. You need to respond back. Please are you hearing what I am saying? It is a war. It is a spirit. So Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12. Mm. Thank you Holy Ghost. It is a war. Lucifer, son of the morning, thou that what according to the God, thou that what weakened the nation. Weakness is one of the manifestations of the spirit. 
you didn't do anything that day but that day you are weak you can't explain it you are just weak you didn't do anything heavy but you are weak oh something is happening in the spirit that you're feeling in the physical is a transaction that happened in the spirit there is a focus of the beam of the power over the territory on you to make sure that that horn is not lifted in the place of prayer it's called the spirit of weakness you must fight it because there's an allocation of grace for that spirit of weakness he said in that your weakness that is what that is strength so in that realm you don't pray with understanding it takes mystery to fight mysteries he said he that speaks in tongue how beat in the spirit altered mystery when you enter that realm what you are casting into is strength by the spirit in the name and you break that dimension so there is no excuse why you should not pray once that excuse settles in your mind is a mystery because laziness always has an explanation i've never found a lazy man who didn't have a good reason why he did not do what he's supposed to do but the bible says he that knows what to do and do it did not to him it is sin he's a spirit but this is the good news for the believer we don't fight for victory we fight from victory so we are victorious in forcing our victory please are you hearing what i'm saying yes isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 the way some of you are looking at me it's like this revelation of sleep he enter where <laughs> let me help you first thessalonians 5 verses 6 let them see them this is in your bible that's what i'm showing you so that you see and know see therefore let us not sleep as others do so there is a way others sleep Okay, someone is catching revelation of sleep. <laughs> this is the gospel according to sleep. Don't sleep as others do. He said, let us watch and be sober. So when you can, if sleep stops your watching and stops your alertness, you are under attack. Anytime sleep start interfering your spiritual vigilance, you are destined is under assault. I told you it's a precursor for the spirit of poverty spiritual poverty which if you stay longer it starts showing because anything that becomes a habit starts affect how you do one thing is how you do everything read the next verse he said for they that sleep sleep when in the night and they that are drunk and drunk in the night verses 8 verses 8 he said let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love for what and helmet he said for an helmet and hope of salvation so they that sleep don't sleep like others if you don't have dominion yet over sleep your destiny there is a transaction holding on still over your life this is by that you wake up and confront it the liberty of redemption gives you the ability to bring your body under hello i hear what i'm saying did you hear what i'm saying yes. you have that liberty Oh, see here. Yeah. You, you see, this thing can either be your master or make you a slave. Don't sleep, oh. Don't sleep. I, let's go back to Isaiah 40. We have exposed Mr. Sleep. 